Hi there. Uh, welcome to my presentation or proposal for uh, uh, my portfolio website and capstone project um, for my last semester at Quinnipiac University. Um, during these uh, past two years, which have flown by, um, I've created a lot of stuff in a lot of different classes. And what I'd like to do is, is to create a um, website that um, hiring managers, um, clients, um, people like that can go and see um, my stuff um, and see if I'm worth hiring. I've split up my um, my uh, production of this website into five distinct phases. There's the research, planning, review, production, and launch. Um, as it's almost September, thankfully I have been researching prior to the class beginning um, as to how I'm going to um, do make the website happen in terms of infrastructure and, and, and so on and so forth. And I've, and I've done a lot of thinking about how it's going to be structured. Um, research, I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to figure out what um, I like about other portfolio websites and um, see what I can get inspired by. Um, I'm also planning on creating a, uh, a palette of, for color, um, a texture palette and typography palette so that uh, it, the website will be um, uniform and uh, consistent. The production phase, I'm sorry, the review phase is uh, a, a, a week or so for me to, to play around with the, the WordPress site that I'm thinking about using as my infrastructure and figuring out how it works and, um, and, and trying to, to see what the limitations are and what and try to, try to make it as robust as possible. Um, then there's the production phase, of course, is when I'm going to actually start um, putting together the actual portfolio website, adding my content, uh, writing content, uh, adding the media, uh, as it were. And then there's the launch and testing phase, which um, will include hopefully a, a usability test or tests by um, a number of people who um, I've contacted who are the kinds of people who would be hiring managers uh, in the field and uh, I'd like to get their input and see what they think of my site and what they would change if anything and give, that'll give me time to go back and fix it. So Basically, I've spent a, a, a few weeks um, or a few days working on um, a splash page that um, the the website would go to first. Um, and what I what I'm planning to do is basically just show off my skill set um, to whoever is looking at my website. Um, you'll notice in uh, the that each of the the skills has a a bubble next to it and I'm planning on making those bubbles links to uh, particular parts of my website if they're interested in seeing examples of that. Um, you'll also notice in the top right hand corner I, you can go directly to the portfolio website itself. Um, in the bottom right hand corner um, I, I pose the question what is a vision mixer? That's the, the name of my um, website. Um, vision mixer is basically somebody who punches um, buttons for a living in the TV world, but in in my view, it also and that's a, and that's a British term. It's it's it, they don't use it in in the United States, uh, but they use it in in Great Britain and in Canada. Um, anyhow, uh, vision mixer also kind of um, kind of illustrates what. Uh, an interactive designer can do in terms of taking um, a bunch of ideas and you know kind of moving them and massaging them and putting them together into one cohesive um, element and then of course the the, the social media um, bits in the the bottom left hand corner you'll see but if you go to the, if you hit the portfolio page basically you'll, you'll see um, this this is something I kind of uh, drummed up this evening that kind of gives you an idea of, of what the website might look like in terms of sections and so forth. It would be a scrolling um, full full page website 
um, when you hit the um, navigation at the top, it would scroll down to that specific um, um, uh, part of the website and um, it would show off um, whatever you'd like to see. Here at the home section, you got a project sample. Um, you got uh, the, uh, the ability to see more of it if you want. Um, there's an about page, uh, very short and succinct about me and why um, I'm trying to transition out of TV and reinvent myself and uh, you know to show show off that yeah I'm married to um, a really cool girl and and we have two great kids and so on and so forth um, I want to split up my resumes into two distinct sections one is my professional resume job history references and so forth uh, but I really want to kind of make the grad school resume kind of shine um, to show off the courses that I took and it have and it have links to specific work um, as applicable um, inside there. Um, below that is the graduate school section. You go there, um, there's a rotating project selector, possibly three different projects. You can, it'll, it'll have a thumbnail of it. And if you're interested in seeing it, you click it. Um, but if you go to the graduate school section, it'll take you to a different page where by class or by course, it'll give you a list of, of projects you can, you can look at and view. The same thing for my professional section, um, you know, exactly the same kind of kind of thing. I've done some things that um, in After Effects and Photoshop, and you know, if somebody's interested in listening to me direct a newscast, then you know, great. Um, the contact section is self-explanatory. Uh, it, it always starts with a conversation. I want people to be able to contact me. I'm going to leave, you know, uh, email, phone, social media, um, et cetera, to, to hopefully get them to uh, come and find me. Um, the footer is going to be, you know, your generic footer, kind of like the one you see below, um, but more, more or less like it will have my stuff on it. I just, I just kind of threw it in there for, the, uh, for a spacer, but you get the idea of what the footer is going to kind of be like. So... Basically, the website is a portfolio to get me out of TV. That's why I'm saying adios to TV, and it's in my rearview mirror. Um, I've been doing it for 18 years, and I'm ready to be done with it. Um, I hope this two years has been worth it, um, and I'm sure it will be. And I thank you for listening, and I hope you think my proposal is um, worth it like I do. Thanks.